Hi people, this is Angel from PRDV Entertainment. Welcome to the first tutorial for the Unity 3D. This tutorial will be about how to create a simple terrain, how to add trees, grass, a first person controller, and also how to add a skybox to your camera. So first of all, let's start creating a terrain. I'm gonna back out a little bit here from the terrain because it's like way too close. There we go. So we need to create a, uh, a couple of mountains here, and for that we need to level up a little bit more the terrain. So for that, let's go to our terrain. Let's choose terrain here. Let's go to our properties for the terrain and click on play, uh, paint height. So from here, you will have different options like brushes, brush size, opacity, the height, and the other type of brushes that will make your terrain look really cool. So from here, let's choose a normal brush here, and I'm going to pull the size of this to 25 only, and for the opacity, it's going to be 50, and for the height, it's going to be 600. So now... I'm going to pull up a little bit of the terrain, just to level up a little bit the ground. I'm going to create a simple, simple, like really, a uh, really simple terrain, nothing fancy, nothing big. So now let's change our brush here. I'm going to lower down the opacity to 25 maybe. There we go. So now I'm going to choose another brush. I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to level up 75 for the brush size. There we go. And now we need to smooth this a little bit because it looks too rough. So for that, we need to click on the third icon on our terrain options here. That is for the smoothness. And from here, let's choose the normal brush. The opacity, I'm going to pull this down to 15 only, and the brush size is going to be 100%. So, smoothness for my terrain. There we go. So now, what's next? We need to add a texture to the ground. Why? Because we are seeing right now a gray terrain on our project, on our scene. So for that, we need to go to the fourth icon that is for the paint and from here we will add a texture first texture will be for the terrain for the ground of the terrain so I'm going to choose grass I'm going to choose grass hill so I'm going to put the size on 3 for the X and the Y because I want the picture to look smaller so it doesn't expand too much and the, res uh, the resolution of the texture doesn't look so bad. So I'm going to add it. And as you can see, it has changed to green. But what we have done exactly is that we added the texture to the ground. I'll click on this. It's my main camera. There we go. Yes, you can see we have added the texture to the ground. I'm going to delete that camera because I hate it. There we go. So now we need to add a first person controller so we can start uh, getting inside the game of the project, see how it's looking. And for that, go to the assets, go to the standard assets, go to the character controllers, and choose first person. Just add it to the game. I'm going to pull it up. There we go. And now this is the place so we can see the ground. Oh, my phone. I got two emails. Nice. Uh, there we go. As you can see, we need to add a light point here, a directional light, because it's too dark. And for that, we need to go to create again, directional light, and just put the intensity of this maybe to one. Yeah, one is okay. Now let's hit the play so we can see. There we go. That's later. It looks way much better. So now we need to add. Uh, uh, we let's paint first the ground because 
I really want to paint it. I want to see how it looks with everything paint and, and nice. So for that, let's go to the train. Let's go to the options here. Let's go to the fourth icon again. This is for the paint. And now let's add another texture. And for this texture, uh, let me see if it has a uh, brown. No, nothing for ground. Let me see. No, nothing for ground. Maybe uh okay, grass rock. Okay. This this one is nice. Okay. So now I'm gonna put uh okay the opacity is on fifteen. I think that's pretty nice. The brush size we gotta pull it down, it's too big. We also gotta change the brush. Put it down to ten. Brush style I don't like the style of this brush, but okay. So let's see how it looks. Painting, painting. Oh, it had didn't add the texture. My bad. Add texture. Thank you. So now choose the texture. Okay, that's way too rough. So try get straight. There we go. Paint. Okay. There we go. So now let's paint a little bit. Uh, maybe the mountains here. I'll put this on ten. I'm gonna paint only the tops. Size is way too big. I'm gonna put this on twenty-five. go so let's hit the play so we can see how it looks well it's looking nice okay so now we need to add uh, another texture because I want to add another one so let's go to the paint again and I'm gonna choose this time uh, rock let's see if we have something for rocks there we go we have a cliff here so let's choose this one let's pull down the brush size because it's still too big there we go so now I'm gonna paint the top of this the opacity I'm gonna pull it up oh my bad we are painting with the same texture where's this rock there we go so now I'm gonna paint this mountains to look a little bit rock Rocky, rocky. There we go. Only for parts, not that much, also. So, okay, okay, okay. That's better. Well, the strength. For some parts, we need to really give a little bit more strength. go almost faded okay let me see the texture okay that's the bad part here no we have to leave it on 15 because it will look really uh, ugly so I'm gonna leave I'm gonna put on 20 20 there we go now 20 looks nice doesn't look that bad okay so now that we have added couple of textures different paintings to our terrain here we need to add at least a uh, couple of trees around still looking better sorry I'm gonna paint this part here so it looks like a like a road or something Okay, not too much, not too much. <laughs> Oops, my bad. Strength, it's too big. There 
There we go. So now let's take a look at it. There we go. Now that's much better. So now let's add trees. And for that, click on the fifth icon on your terrain options here and click on edit trees. Click on add tree and click on this little circle that we have here so we can find a tree. And we are going to look for the palms. Where is it? There we go. So now we click on add. Now let's uh, change the brush size to maybe 25. The tree density is too much, so we're going to put this only on 50. The tree height, I'm going to pull it up a little bit. Also, I'm going to put 125. And for the width, also 125. There we go. So now let's start painting. So I'm just going to paint. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to make like a little row here. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. So now let's add another tree and for that let's click on edit trees again and let's click add tree. From here the same step. Click on the little circle here and let's choose big tree. From here also we're going to leave the height and the width in the same as 25 or maybe we can even uh, put a little bit more on it. So let's put maybe uh, 160 for this one. And I'm going to pull down a little bit the density of this tree because I don't want that much of those trees around. Also for the size, I'm going to put only 15. Uh, maybe I need to pull a little bit more again. There we go. Oh, I'm, choose I'm still having the palms selected. Okay, there we go. So now let's paint. The trees, 50, maybe, no, 40 for the density here. Okay, that tree is so ugly. So, we need to change the height and also the width. We can leave it on 160. Okay, so let's paint over here. Over here, over here, over here. I'm gonna pull down the size of the brush. I can't pull it down that much. There we go. There we go. Tree on the middle, please. There we go. There we go. So now we need to add grass. We need to add a little bit of grass to this map here. So it looks way much better. And for that, let's go to the six icon here. It has three flowers on it. And for that, let's click on edit details, add grass textures. Click on the circle so we can choose what texture for the grass we're going to be using. And I'm going to type grass to make it faster. There we go. I'm going to choose this one. Now I'm going to paint every part of the terrain. Only the green part that we can see. So now I'm going to choose this brush. I'm going to pull up a little bit for the brush. And now let's paint the terrain. We cannot see the grass from here, but when we get into the game, we will see the grass. Just going to be sure not to paint the rocks. Well, the rocks are painted. So now let's choose another grass to add 
to the terrain here and I'm going to choose this little grass that we have here so I'm also going to add that grass into the game here maybe to every green part that I have on my terrain just to make it look better okay so get me into the first person thank you so as you can see here is our grass uh, terrain terrain paint so we need to get out of the map again okay there we go I'm painting again because I forgot to paint a couple of parts here with the other texture there we go so now let's hit the play so we can see what we are doing there we go now that's looking way much better I cannot see where's the road that I created okay there it goes there it is so we had the palms we have the, the other trees so now we need to add a skybox to our game why because I want I want clouds on on the air and for that let me close the tester here and now I'm gonna choose the first person shooter I'm gonna choose main camera and after clicking on main camera I'm going to click on component on the top of your windows next click on rendering and then click on skybox after creating your little skybox here you will have the properties on your right so we now have we now need to add the skybox from the assets so for that go to your project window go to assets standard assets go to the skyboxes there we go and now let's add the sunny so you just need only to drag over to the skybox from the materials properties and from here you cannot see the change but because it's only inside the camera but if you click on play you can see that we have added already the skybox to the camera and now it's looking way much better than it was before well guys i'm gonna leave you guys with this tutorial remember to subscribe if, if you like the uh, the video please hit the like button write a comment and see you guys next time this is angel from prw entertainment bye bye